Led by Miss Jaina Demeter, let's welcome the Buckeye Local Panther Marching Band.
Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand and remove your hats for the playing of the national anthem by the Buckeye Local Marching Band and the raising of the American flag by veterans of American Legions of Jefferson County. here for the band. Buckeye Local Alma Mater, beautifully played by the Buckeye Local Marching Band. Shenandoah, number two, Ethan Carpenter is a defensive back. Number three, Baylor Wentworth playing defensive back. Number four, Cade Denias at Denis, I'm sorry, at defensive back. Number five, Robbie Cool at defensive back. The linebackers, number six, Julius Kirk. Number eight, Brian Portman. Number nine, Wyatt Miley. And number 59, Hunter Schott. The defensive line is number 23, Tanner DeVold. Number 59, Hunter Schott. And number 67, Preston Mackey. And now for your Buckeye Local Panther offense. Starting at quarterback, number two, Hayden Taylor. The wide receiver, number six, Bob Palmer. At running back, number 10, Trey Hoover. At fullback, number 12, Austin Langford. At one wide receiver, number 15, Andrew Wharton. 
At running back, number 24, Jay-Z, Jacob Zanes. The tight end, number 27, Tyler Donahue. The offensive line, starting at right tackle, number 57, Luke Dara. At right guard, number 70, Isaac Chandler. The center, number 55, Alexio Morales. At left guard, number 60, Justin Driscoll. And at left tackle, number 52, Hunter Dara. Attendant principal and athletic council of the Buckeye Local High School extend to each of you a cordial welcome. We are pleased that you are here tonight. The Buckeye Local High School and Shenandoah High School are members of the Ohio High School Athletic Association and abide by high standards of conduct, competition, and relations with member schools. The athletes in this game are friendly rivals. While play may be fierce, all in attendance tonight are reminded that this is a game between youngsters and that sporting behavior is expected. The officials assigned to this game have been selected and assigned according to the procedures adopted by the Ohio High School Athletic Association. Your referee tonight is Homer Martin. The umpire is Antonio Johnson. Linesman is John Smith. The line judge is Sam Stone King. And the back judge is Joseph Wagner.
Let's sit back Saturday night. Here they are, the Buckeye Labor Panthers. Those flags were purchased, the American flags were purchased by the football moms, and we'd like to thank them for that. Brad Palmer will be back deep for the Panthers. He's joined by Dylan Palmer and Jacob Zane. Drugged down by number six, Julius Kirk. Panthers will set up shop first and ten at their own 41 yard line. Austin Langford, the ball carrier. Langford's carry to the Panther 45 yard line. It'll be second down and six. Trey Hoover, the ball carrier. Preston Mackey, 67, there to make the stop. Pickup of one leaves the Panthers with third down and five from their own 46-yard line. Carrying the ball for a Buckeye local. He's near the first down. Tanner DeVold, number 23, making the stop for the Zepps. Brings up fourth down. Fourth and short. Ball just inside Shenandoah's territory. Hayden Taylor, quarterback sneak for the first down. First and ten, do it again, Joe! 
Ball near the Zep 48 yard line. Trey Hoover, the ball carrier. Brought down by Hunter Shot, 59. Ball is spotted at the Zep 46 yard line. That leaves the Panthers with second down and eight. complete to Hoover. Preston Mackey there to make the stop. Ball at the 42 yard line. It brings up third and four for Buckeye Local. carrier. Baylor Wentworth number three making the stop. Flag on the play holding against Buckeye Local. Will be spotted back in Panther territory at the 48 yard line. Bring up third and 14 for Buckeye Local. Taylor, the ball carrier. Hunter shot 59, making the stop. Taylor's carry into Shenandoah territory near the 45 yard line of the Zeps. It's going to bring up fourth down. Luke Dara into the game to punt. Dennis receiving the punt. intended for number five, Robbie Cool, incomplete.
Jacob Zanes there defensively for Buckeye Local. Pass was incomplete. Brings up second down, and they make it third down and 10 for the Zeps. The ball is at the 27 yard line. Number eight on the carrier. Personal foul against the Panthers. Portman's run to the 47 yard line, the Panthers, and then 15 yards tacked onto that. First and 10, Shenandoah at the Buckeye Local 32. Kate Dean is the ball carrier. Pickup of one. Shenandoah has the ball second and nine at the Panther 31 yard line. Portman, the ball carrier. First and goal at the five yard line for Shenandoah. Carrier 57 in on the stop, Luke Dara. Pickup of one brings up second and goal from the four yard line. into the end zone for Shenandoah. Number four, Kate Dinas into the end zone for the two-point conversion. And with 5.33 remaining in the first quarter, Shenandoah on top of Buckeye Local, 8-0. Buckeye Local High School game ball week number four. This week's game ball is sponsored by Ocean Bind Custom Apparel. Looking for cool t-shirts for your next fundraiser? Look no further than Ocean Bind Custom Apparel, located in St. Clairsville, Ohio. Go Panthers! Also a sponsor tonight, Curl Up and Die Hair Salon in Wheeling, West Virginia, with a unique 
and spooky theme unlike anywhere else, they offer a variety of services. Call Karina today. She is dying to bring your hair back from the dead. Go Panthers! William Langley set to kick off. Palmer around the left side there, brought down by number 31, Jacob Feldner. Palmer's return near the 49-yard line of the Panthers. First and 10, Buckeye Local. <laughs> Trey Hoover, the ball carrier. Julius Kirk, number six, there for the Zeps. Hoover's carry into Shenandoah territory. Ball spotted at the 47-yard line. Brings up second and six for Buckeye Local. Hoover, the ball carrier. <laughs> Preston Mackey there, number 67. No gain on the play. Brings up third and six from the 47. Miley, along with Hunter Schott there to bring down Hoover. Lost back to the near midfield. To bring up fourth down and ten for Buckeye Local. at the Zep 30-yard line, first and 10, Shenandoah. <laughs> With October being Breast Cancer Awareness Month, the Panthers will be recognizing Kelly Duvall this evening. Each player has a Team Kelly sticker on the back of their helmet. Kelly is the wife of Coach Jason Duvall, she was diagnosed with breast cancer early in the year. Pass to Briar Portman, complete. Loss of five on the play. Penalties declined.
Second and 15 for Shenandoah from their own 25-yard line. Pass intended for number five, Robbie Cool. Johnny Leapett, number five, defending for Buckeye Local. That's going to bring up third down and 15 from the Zepp 25-yard line. Delay of game against Shenandoah. That'll back the Zeps up to their own 20 yard line where it will be third down and 20. complete to number 23, Tanner DeVold. Johnny Leapett there to make the stop for Buckeye Local. Pickup of 17 leaves the Zepps with fourth down and three at their own 37 yard line. Briar Portman set the punt. Brian Palmer returning to punt. Briar Portman, number eight, there to make the stop. Palmer's return to the Buckeye local 30 yard line. First and 10, Panther. Taylor's pass to Palmer complete. Sam Townsend, along with Hunter, shot there to make the stop. Pickup of 16 gives the Panthers a first down, first and 10 at their own 46 yard line. Pass complete to number seven, Dylan Palmer. Julius Kirk, one of the defenders on the play for Shenandoah. Trey Hoover, the ball carrier, brought down by number eight, Briar Portman. That carry inside Shenandoah territory to the 49 brings up third and five for Buckeye Local.
and that will end the first quarter. your game ball ticket, a white ticket, Pass complete to number six, Brian Palmer. Julius Kirk there to make the stop. The pickup of 14. That reception gives Bub Palmer the number one all time career yardage record for Buckeye Local. Covered by number four, Cade Dinas. Okay, that white ticket for the game ball. One five one two five zero. That's one five one two five zero. You can come up and claim that game ball here at the press box. One five one two five zero. Substitution violation by the Zeps. It's going to back him up five yards. It'll be first down and 15. Ball spotted at the Zep 39 yard line. Pass complete to number eight, Briar Portman. Hunter Dara, 52, in there with several other, other Panthers to make the stop. Gain to the... Second down and 13 from the 41 yard line of the Zeps. Pass complete to number five, Robbie Cool. Penalty marker down. Procedure, procedure call against Shenandoah.
second and 18 from the Shenandoah 36 yard line. Make that second and 18. Pass intended for Kate Dinas. Incomplete. Brings up third down and 18. Sack. Loss on the play back to the Zepp 25 yard line. It's going to bring up fourth down and 25. punt fielded by Palmer, Joel Radizak, number 80, making the stop. Palmer's return into Shenandoah territory. Buckeye local will have the ball first and 10 at the Zep 47. Hoover the ball carrier. Tanner DeVold, their first for Shenandoah. Near the 43 yard line. They'll bring up second down and six for Buckeye Local. Sides against Shenandoah. Five yard penalty. Bring up second down and one. Ball is spotted at the. Second and one. Trey Hoover, the ball carrier. He's met by number 59, Hunter Schott. No gain on the play. That brings up third down and two. Once again, I'd like to say that with October being Breast Cancer Awareness Month, the Panthers will be recognizing Kelly Duvall this evening. Each player has a Team Kelly sticker on the back of their helmet. And Kelly is the wife of Coach Jason Duvall. She was diagnosed with breast cancer earlier this year. With continued support and prayers, we are confident that she will be victorious in her battle. Thank you.
Hoover, the ball carrier, brought down by number 59, shot. Hoover's carry good for another Buckeye local Panther first down. Ball at the Shenandoah 36 yard line, first and 10. Hoover, the ball carrier for Buckeye Local, tripped up by number four, Kay Dinas. Pickup of a couple brings up second and eight for Buckeye Local from the Shenandoah 34 yard line. Taylor's pass complete to number six, Bob Palmer. Palmer brought down at the two yard line. Gives the Panthers first and goal. <laughs> 32 yard pickup for Buckeye Local on the play. Trey Hoover into the end zone. will tie the game up. And with 623 remaining in the first half, we're knotted at eight. set to kick off for Buckeye Local. Briar Portman, number eight. Deep for Shenandoah. Ball fielded by number two, Ethan Carpenter. First and 10, Shenandoah at their own 35 yard line.
Portman, the ball carrier. Lost a couple on the carry. Back to the 33-yard line. It's going to be second and 12. Trey Hoover defending on the play. Robbie Cool, number five, the intended receiver. That incompletion is going to bring up third down and 12 for Shenandoah at the Zepp 33 yard line. Pass intended for number 23, Tanner DeVold. That incompletion brings up fourth down and 12 for Shenandoah. Turning the ball. Joel Radizak, number 80, again there to make the stop. Palmer's return to the Panther 33 yard line. First and 10, Buckeye Local. Complete to Brian Palmer, number six. Pick up of eight. Leaves the Panthers with second and two from their own 41 yard line. Trey Hoover, the ball carrier. Hoover's carry to the Panther 46-yard line. Good for another Panther first down. field. Pickup of three brings up second and seven for the Panthers. Trey Hoover, the ball carrier. Number 59, Hunter, shot there defensively for Shenandoah. Hoover's carry is going to leave the Panthers with third and three from the Shenandoah 47-yard line. Thank <laughs> you. 
Trey Hoover, the ball carrier. Initially met by number nine, Wyatt Miley. Carried to the 47 yard line. Brings up fourth and two for Buckeye Local. Dara in the punt. Dayton Hill, number 15, in there to block the punt. <laughs> Shenandoah will have the ball first and 10 at their own 49-yard line. Just under three minutes remaining in the first half. Carrier shoved out of bounds by number seven, Dylan Palmer. Pickup of 21 down to the Panther 30 yard line will be first and 10. Number 15, Dayton Hill, the ball carrier. Slipped down. Loss on the play. Ball spotted at the Buckeye local 33 yard line. Brings up second down and 13 for Shenandoah. play Austin Langford on the loose pigskin. Buckeye Local will have the ball first and 10 at their own 33 yard line. Make it to 34 yard line. Penalty against the Panthers. No, they gave him a timeout there before the penalty. Oh, I'm sorry. It was a penalty, then a timeout. Thank you. Taylor's pass complete to number six, Brian Palmer. 15, Dayton Hill there on the stop for Shenandoah. 
that reception good to the Panther 40, 43 yard line. Brings up second and one. in to make the stop of quarterback Hayden Taylor. Loss on the play. Back to the 38 yard line of Buckeye Local. It brings up third down. intended for Jacob Zanes incomplete. Penalty marker down, roughing the passer against Shenandoah. spotted at the Shenandoah 47 yard line. First and 10 Buckeye local just over a minute remaining in the first half. complete to Hoover. No gain on the play. Palmer on the receiving end of that pass. Kate Dinas, number four there defensively. That reception. 
Good for a first down. Timeout, Buckeye Local. Hoover's pass to Taylor incomplete. Defending on the play, number 15, Dayton Hill. That brings up second down and 10 from the Shenandoah 36 yard line for the Panthers. intercepted by number two Ethan Carpenter and that play will end the exciting first half of football here score tied 8-8 eight, eight. Ladies and gentlemen, under the field direction of Field Commander Jaina Demeter, it's the Buckeye Local High School Panther Marching Band. The Panther Band will begin tonight's show with Bad Guy by Billie Eilish.
In place of our customary senior halftime show, this year the seniors have elected to play a song for you by themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2020 seniors in Aztec Fire. Seniors, we thank you for your many contributions to our school, and especially the Panther Band. These years have truly been a blessing, and we will miss you. We wish you the best in the future. Eyes with pride. We now bring our show to an end with Spanish favorite, Malagueña. Please enjoy your evening, and let's go Panthers!
Baker High School Panther Marching Band. to thank you or send, send out a thank you to the band boosters for feeding our veterans who presented our colors tonight. Thank you very much. Once again we'd like to thank this week's game ball sponsors, Curl Up and Die Hair Salon in Wheeling, West Virginia. With a unique spooky theme unlike anywhere else, they offer a variety of services. Call Karina today. She is dying to bring your hair back from the dead. Some scores of local games. St. Clairsville leads Harrison Central 21 to 20. Union Local trails Barnesville 14 to 7. We're on top of Martins Ferry 20 to 8. Beaver Local leads Belair 20 to 7. Indian Creek on top of Brook, 7-0. And Austin Town Fitch trails Steubenville, 21-14. Also like to thank our other game ball sponsor, Ocean Bind Custom Apparel. Looking for a cool for cool t-shirts for your next fundraiser? Look no further than Ocean Bind Custom Apparel located in St. Clairsville, Ohio. Once again, I'd like to remind everybody that Buckeye Local will be in playoff action next Saturday in Ravenna, game time 1.30 against Ravenna Southeast.
Hunter Dara set to kick off for the second half. Briar Portman, number eight, the deep man for Shenandoah. Portman brought down by the kicker. Hunter Dara, number 52. Portman, Portman's return to the 44 of the Zaps, first and 10, Shenandoah. Hunter Dara and Jay Z, Jacob Zanes to stop number eight, Briar Portman. Lost back to the 40 yard line. Loss of four brings up second and 14 for Shenandoah. the ball carrier. Brought down by number 60, Justin Driscoll. Dinas is carried to the 44-yard line, brings up third and 10. Complete to number nine, Wyatt Miley. That, that pass completion is down to the Panther 42 yard line. It'll be first and 10 for Shenandoah. down by number six, Brian Palmer, Jr. Ball will be spotted at the 26-yard line of Buckeye Local. First and 10, Shenandoah. brought down by number four Danny Nation and number 12 Austin Langford. Get out your red 50-50 tickets. Tonight's 50-50 worth $114. I'll read the number right after this play. on the bottom of the pile. Portman, the ball carrier, the red ticket number 397-984. 397-984, that's for the 50-50. You can come up here to the press box and claim that money.
Lateral. It was considered a lateral. Be a loss on the play for Shenandoah. Will be spotted at the Panther 24 yard line. <laughs> Leaves the Zeps with third and 20. Austin Langford in the sack, the quarterback, number 15, Dayton Hill, back to the 37-yard line of Buckeye Local. That's going to bring up fourth down, fourth and 33 for Shenandoah. Portman, the ball carrier. <laughs> Portman's carry to the 35-yard line of Buckeye Local to give the Panthers first and 10. Shenandoah. One more time on that red 50-50 ticket. Palmer, the ball carrier, brought down by Kate Dinas and Hunter Schott. Pick up a four, leaves the Panthers with second and six from their own 39-yard line. Trey Hoover, the ball carrier. Kate Dinas there defensively for the Zeps. Lost back to the 36-yard line. It's going to bring up third down and nine for Buckeye Local. Thank <laughs> you. 
Time out, Buckeye Local. One more time on the 50-50. Red ticket, 397-984. That's intended for Jacob Zanes, incomplete. Baylor Wentworth, number three, defending on the play. That'll bring a fourth down for Buckeye Local. Fourth and nine at their own 36-yard line. Hunter Dara set the punt for Buckeye Local. Dennis on the return. He's brought down by Brian Palmer Jr. And the beanbag is dropped at the 30-yard line of Shenandoah. It'll be bring up first and ten. top of him to make the tackle. Seven there to make the stop. and Palmer there to make a stop on number 23, Tanner DeVold. That carry to the Shenandoah 49-yard line is going to bring up second and six for the Zeps. Justin Driscoll there to trip up Briar Portman, number eight. Ball right at midfield. 
That leaves the Zeps with third down and five. The gentleman who won the 50-50 donated back part of the money to the band. Let's give him a round of applause because I didn't get his name. Very generous. Penalty against the Zeps. False start. That'll back him up five yards to the 45-yard line. I'll make third and ten for Shenandoah. intended for Robbie Cool incomplete. The Palmers, Brian and Dylan back there defensively for Buckeye Local. That incompletion brings up fourth down for Shenandoah, fourth and ten from the Shenandoah 45 yard line. brought down by number 57, Luke Dara. He did not pick up the first down. Buckeye Local will have the ball first and 10 at the Panther 49-yard line. intended for Trey Hoover incomplete. It'll bring up second down and 10 for Buckeye Local. Taylor's pass caught by Jacob Zanes. Kate Dennis there to make the stop for Shenandoah. Ball is at the Zep 47 yard line. That'll bring up third down and six for Buckeye Local. Trey Hoover, the ball carrier. Dakota Hoover, number 54, there to make the stop for the Zeps. Brings up fourth down and three for Buckeye Local from the Shenandoah 44-yard line. Fumble on the play, recovered by number six, Julius Kirk. Shenandoah will have the ball first and ten at its own 43-yard line.
Portman, the ball carrier, met by Austin Langford and Luke Dara. And that play will end the third quarter. When play resume, resumes, Shenandoah will have the ball second down and four at their own 49-yard line. We found a man who uh, donated money back to the band. His name is Steve Dimmerling. Let's give Steve a hand again. That was gen very generous of him. and Trey Hoover, number 10, combined to make the stop. Dinas is carried good for a first down. First and 10 at the Panther 46-yard line for the Zeps. Carrier. Loss on the play. Trey Hoover there is one of the Panthers making the stop. St. Clairsville 28, Harrison Central 20. Update for you. Second down and 11. Pass complete to number five, Robbie Cool. Luke Dara, 57, there to make the stop for Buckeye Local. We're leading Ferry, 20 to 16 now. Zeps have the ball third and three at the Panther 38 yard line. And Palmer, number six, in on number eight, Briar Portman, loss on the play. Loss of 10, back to the Buckeye local 48-yard line, bring up fourth and 13. <laughs> Briar Portman, back to punt for the Zeps. Will be spotted at the Panther 28 yard line. First and 10, Buckeye Local. Beaver leads Belair 28 to 7.
Taylor's pass caught by Palmer. Kate Dinas there to make the stop. Palmer's catch, good for another Panther first down at the Buckeye local 40-yard line. Steubenville leads Austin Town Fitch by a touchdown, 28-21. Trey Hoover, the ball carrier. Hunter shot number 59 there to make the stop on Hoover. Pickup of seven leaves the Panthers with second and three at their own 47 yard line. Hayden Taylor brought down by number 67. Preston Mackey lost back to the 45 yard line of Buckeye Local. That'll leave the Panthers with third and five. They need to get to midfield to pick up a first down. Taylor's pass intended for number 15, Andrew Wharton, incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down. St. Clairsville leads Harrison Central 35 to 20. Dayton Hill picking up the punt, brought down by Dylan Palmer. Shenandoah will have the ball at the Panther 44-yard line, first and 10. This just in, Ferry now on top of Weirton, 23-20. Chandler, number 70, there to make the stop. Injury timeout on the field. Number nine, Wyatt Miley was the injured Shenandoah player. Let's give him a big hand. Play will resume second and eight at the Panther 42 yard line for Shenandoah.
Nathan Van Fleet, the quarterback, pass incomplete. It's going to bring up third down and eight for Shenandoah. The ball at the Panther 42-yard line. Penalty against Shenandoah, delay of game. That'll back the Zeps up five yards. It'll be third and 13. The ball will be spotted at the Buckeye local 47 yard line. Van Fleet's pass incomplete. Johnny Leapett defending for Buckeye Local. That's going to bring up fourth down and 13 for Shenandoah. Ball at the Panther 47 yard line. Briar Portman back to punt. Portman's punt out of bounds near the 15 yard line. It'll be Buckeye local ball, first and 10. Trey Hoover, the ball carrier. <laughs> Dakota Hoover, 54. One of the Zeps in there on the stop. Picked up five yards. They'll leave the Panthers with second down and five at their own 20. Kay Dinas there to make the stop of Trey Hoover. Hoover's carry though, good for another Panther first down. Ball will be spotted at the Buckeye local 28 yard line, first and 10. St. Clairsville leads Harrison Central 35-20. intended for Jacob Zanes incomplete. Dayton Hill defending for the Zeps. This just in, Martins Ferry made their extra point. It's now 24-20. And Steubenville and Austin Town Fitch now in a 28-all tie.
play recovered by Briar Portman. Check that, no fumble on the play. No gain on the play. Second and ten from the Buckeye local 27 yard line. intended for Donahue, incomplete. <laughs> Penalties are going to offset. Personal fouls called against each team. That's going to be third down and ten now from the 27 yard line of Buckeye Local. carrier. Jared Trenner among the Zeps in there to make the stop. Pick up a four leaves the Panthers with fourth, fourth and six from their own 31 yard line. Portman, brought down by number three, Jacob Anderson. Portman's return to the Buckeye Local 40. Ball will be spotted at the Buckeye Local 43 yard line.
the ball carrier. Trey Hoover in there on the stop for Buckeye Local. Portman's carry to the Panther 40-yard line. It's going to bring up second and seven for Shenandoah. Hauled down by number 12, Austin Langford. Lost back to the 46-yard line of Shenandoah. It's going to bring up third down and 13 for the Zeps. Pass complete. Portman on the receiving end of that pass. That reception down to the 40. Make that the 36 yard line. It's going to bring up fourth down and three for Shenandoah. Down 35 to 7 to Beaver Local. Van Fleet's pass knocked down by the Panthers. Buckeye Local will have the ball on downs. First and ten, Buckeye Local. ball carrier for Buckeye Local. Hunter shot 59 making the stop for the Zeps. Loss on the play back to the Panther 33 yard line. Brings up second and 13 for Buckeye Local.
Tyler Donahue on the receiving end of that pass. Robbie Cool, number five, making the stop. Donahue's reception to the Buckeye local 44-yard line. That's going to leave the Panthers with third down and two yards to go. Trey Hoover brought down by Kay Dinas. Hoover's carry good for a Buckeye local first down. First and 10 at the Panther 47 yard line. carrier. Number six, Julius Kirk in on the stop. Pickup of four brings up second and six. The ball is in Zep territory at the 49 yard line. intercepted by Kate Dinas. Andrew Wharton, 15, one of the tacklers on the play. Flag down near midfield. Against Shenandoah, blocking the back. spotted at the Shenandoah 41 yard line, first and 10 Zeps.
pass intended for Dinas incomplete. Penalty marker down on the play. Holding against Shenandoah. to the Shenandoah 21 yard line. incomplete penalty marker down pass interference called against the Panthers to the thirty-six yard line where it'll be first and fifteen yards for the Zeps. on the receiving end of that. Penalty marker down, however. Block in the back against the Zeps. Timeout Panthers. Resumes will have three seconds. The ball will be spotted at the Panther 28 yard line. It'll be first and 10 for Shenandoah. is incomplete and that will end regulation play get ready for overtime
Shenandoah will have the ball first, and they'll start the overtime at the Panther 20-yard line. carrier, hauled down by number 12, Austin Langford. <laughs> the uh, ball is down at the 14-yard line, second and six for the Zeps. Driscoll combining for the stop. Pickup of a couple leaves the Zeps with third down and one at the Panther 11 yard line. Port 
Hartman, the ball carrier, to the nine yard line, good for a first down. Langford, along with number 24, Jacob Zanes, combined to make the stop. First and goal from the nine yard line. Dennis, the ball carrier, met by Austin Langford, number 12. No gain on the play. Leaves the Zeps with second down and goal from the Panther nine yard line. is incomplete. That'll leave the Zeps with third and goal from the Panther nine yard line. Time out, Shenandoah. Touchdown pass complete to number eight, Briar Portman. Zeps will now attempt the extra point. zone for the two-point conversion. That'll make the score Shenandoah 16, Buckeye Local 8. Buckeye Local will now have the ball for the first time in overtime at the 20-yard line. on the play recovered by number two Hayden Taylor loss on the play back to the 24 yard line second and 14 for Buckeye Local
Taylor, the ball carrier. Dakota Hoover, 54, in there initially for the Zeps. That's going to bring up third down and 14. Ball spotted at the 24-yard line. incomplete <laughs> penalty flag on the play illegal shift declined that's going to bring up fourth down and 14 for Buckeye local marker down. <laughs> Pass interference against Shenandoah. That's, that's going to result in a to the goal, but leaves the Panthers with fourth down and one. And that play is going to end the game. Final score, Shenandoah 16, Buckeye Local 8. Please drive carefully. Oh, <laughs> 